Welcome back, Lug Nuts. Now, before we get into what I think may be the only video in existence of this bag, we've got to talk about the zippers for a second. I bought this bag off of Amazon, and in the stock photo, it had shiny gunmetal zippers. I was sent the style of zippers that's currently shown on Lug's website, which I'm personally happy about, but this channel is all about keeping you informed, so if you're expecting shiny gunmetal zippers with this bag, you might not get them. So we've got a pretty slim bag here, but the front pockets have their own large gussets, which means that you'll be able to fit a wallet in here without taking up real estate in the main part of your bag. Now in the very front pocket, I wouldn't go any larger than a tram, but if the tandem is your wallet, you'll definitely be able to fit one in the second front compartment. In this compartment, we've got a stretchy cargo pocket, which is soft lined and two pen slots. The zipper does not go all the way around this compartment. And if the design looks familiar, that's because they use the same layout in the Ace tote. So the front pocket will have no internal organization and the pocket behind that again has the stretchy cargo pocket, which is soft lined and the two pen slots. The Sidekick does not feature Lug Signature's cell phone pocket, however, Lug did give us three soft-lined areas in this bag. When I used this bag, I put my cell phone in the stretchy cargo pocket in the second compartment because it keeps that compartment slim enough to also fit a wallet. However, if you're trying to put your chunky sunglasses in here, you'll probably still be able to make it work. The water bottle pocket on the side of the sidekick is the kind that has the magnetic closure and it also has the velcro on the back flap that way the bag stays streamlined against your body. And here is what the sidekick will look like from the front when you're carrying a water bottle. And I personally haven't had any issues with the magnetic closure opening up on me when I don't have anything in this pocket. There is another zip compartment on the back of the sidekick and this pocket will not feature any built-in organizational features. And here I'm using the tandem zip wallet to demonstrate how far down the pocket goes. The first thing I thought of when I opened this bag is how great it would be as a small camera bag. So if you got your DSLR and your lens and that's all you want to carry with you, you've got two soft line stretchy cargo pockets to do that. The best size reference I have at the moment is the water bottle, but you can see how much room I have around it still. And on the opposite wall of the main interior, you get a privacy zip pocket. This has actually become a favorite little bag of mine for outdoor adventures. If I'm not in the mood to carry a backpack, this is what I reach for because I'm able to carry my phone, diapers, wipes, keys, water bottle, and even a camera. There is really nothing else like the sidekick out there, but the flutter comes close for two reasons. Number one, the silhouette. Number two, the water bottle holder. So the sidekick is gonna be your bigger bag. If you like the flutter but need something a little bit larger, you might wanna check this one out. That's gonna wrap up this video, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Pause it here if you wanna see how it looks as a shoulder bag and a crossbody bag. If you're already subscribed, thank you for supporting Lugnut TV. If you want to follow a channel that is all about the brand Lug, consider hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.